we went through Flushing Meadows Park on Sunday, and it was absolutely slammed with people. Yeah, it was. I was very uncomfortable. Yeah. We kind of like ran through the park. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a little uncomfortable because there weren't a lot of people wearing masks, which is something that Jesse and I have talked about a little bit to speculate why that is. Because in general, people are wearing masks when we're walking around. The ratio I put it at, and somebody suggested we should do a clicker. Like one of us you right, know, click yeah. for masks and one of us, you know, don't. I think that was Brian that suggested that. But... I put the ratio at like 80 20. Yeah, that sounds about right. Which 80 people 80% of people are wearing masks, 20% aren't. And then of that 20%, there is probably half of that are people that are in the immediate vicinity of their homes and they're just doing little errands that they f- I think gives them a feeling of immunity. You know, where it's like, okay, I'm just going to be out for a second. I just need right. to put the garbage out. Or I just need to run to the car and get something. Right. Or they're just, like, in their yard gardening or, yeah. or doing something. Or, like, sitting on their porch or yeah. something like that where, yeah. And whether or not that's the right move or not, I I understand the rationale that they have. You know? Sure. It's like your house feels like an extension of you. And it's yeah, like, like we know. just talked about the industry people. The sidewalk is like an extension of your space right. in a way. <laughs> right, yeah. So, so, yeah, so it seems like traveling from place to place, people have been pretty respectful about the masks. But I think there's something about arriving at a leisure place that makes it feel as though it's okay to not have a mask on. Yeah, and, I mean, we were just discussing this for in relation to your birthday. Like, we're going to be, we invited people up with the understanding that people may or may not feel comfortable. Yeah. And we're super casual about what the planning would be. And it turned out that a lot of people want to come up, which isn't surprising because Jessie's a lovely person. Uh-huh. And they want to celebrate her. <laughs> but, you know, we're discussing what it is that it would look like to... To hang out with everybody and should we be wearing yeah. masks or whatnot and keeping you know. distance is a pretty obvious one if we're outside wearing masks you know interacting with people it's there's there's questions and to some degree it's comfort level of everyone involved to another degree it's trying to find out what the latest information from the scientists is and what the most respectful way to go about it is and i i do understand you know when we're walking through flushing meadows it's we are traveling through also. Yeah. So we have the mask on and we're walking through the park and seeing a, groups of people all around. And it's not that they're all far away from us, but sort of like seeing it. I know at the beginning of all of this time of COVID, or I guess not the beginning, but sort of when People were leaving their houses. The weather was getting nicer. There were all those photos that were taken in a way that made it look like everyone was on top of each other without a mask on. And it kind of, like, even just in the park looking, it's overwhelming because you see a lot of people. And, like, we haven't been around people at all. So it's overwhelming to see a lot of people and then to notice that a lot of people have their masks off. But maybe, like, like, if I went and measured the distance between everyone it, like it i'm sure everybody's trying to do their best right now yeah. so yeah yeah i don't nothing so, against the park yeah you know it was it was an anxiety inducing experience for me but it also we just motored through yeah. and <laughs> went on our way yeah 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 i mean i can't i'm, I'm not interested in feeling judgment because it'd just be overwhelming. We mm-hmm. see so many people. I mean, I wouldn't want to feel judgment anyway, but it's just not, it, it doesn't hold much point. Just wear the masks if it makes sense to wear the masks. And, you know, I was thinking about, there, there are all these like posts on, uh, on the internet about like, I do this. If, if you, if I can wear a mask, so can you, you know? Yeah. Where it's like, I work 12 hours a day and it's, a, you know, yeah. And I was I was thinking like in some ways what we're doing is like a thing like that, but I wouldn't want to do that. Where it's like we're walking a marathon 5 days a week and we're wearing right. masks. If we're doing that, so can you, but it's like, it's you know. It's so obnoxious. Yeah. It's like I mean, 
it's all of honestly just the this in, the entire thing is obnoxious cuz the people that are fighting against wearing masks are also super obnoxious like just shut up like if you don't want to wear a mask shut up and hide and like go you know just go away but like and if you do want to wear, and you can wear a mask, and you do want to wear the mask, good, great. That's like what we're supposed to be doing. I think we can all agree that's what we're supposed to be doing. But like the fighting back and forth, and I, I and the fact it's just hard. It's hard. We none of us are scientists. None of us are doctors. This the way that this works is that there's experiments, and things get figured out, and then things get proved, and then they get disproved, and they get built upon, and we're like all backseat drivers to the scientists that are trying to figure this out and there's no real leadership and I don't think I'm going to say anything new right now <laughs> about this. Right. Well, some of the funny things that I've seen in lieu of masks are like clearly that we pass by people sometimes and they're clearly aware they should have a mask on or they feel some some emotion seeing yeah. us in masks. And some people use their t-shirts. Yeah, yeah. One Sometimes people just put their hand in front of their mouth. Yeah, I saw a little girl the other day who was playing with her neighbor pass by me and she just put her hand over her mouth and ran into her house. Oh. You know. So So there are definitely, you know, there's an awareness that like this is a thing that should be happening. Yeah. Yeah. You know?